Gemini, come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name's Jen Dawson, welcome to Jen TV. Alright, Gemini, I was meditating pretty much most of yesterday, from about 9.30 till 2. And what came to me was, this, re this week's readings need to be timeless, they need to be when you need them. So you might open this video next year sometime from when I'm doing it today. It's whenever you need it. Bear in mind, my loves, these are general reasons, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But if it does, take a look in the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. There's also a link to my website if you want to book a private reading. The only way you can get a legitimate private reading from me is if you go through my website. So click that link below if you want one. Go straight there. I'm never going to come to you. I'm not going to be up in your DMs. I'm not going to be down below. Those are scammers. People doing that. Can you come and have one of my readings? Yeah, that's not me. Never going to be me. You have to come to me. Okay, my loves. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. All right, I've done all the blurb. Gemini, this is your timeless reading. Timeless. There we go. Gemini. Well, that makes a lot of sense. As soon as the outcome came out there, it was like... <sighs> you haven't been able to manifest this. That beautiful connection, you haven't been able to manifest it. You know who it is. That's for sure. You definitely know who it is. And uh, you've put a lot of ache, yearning, need. You have manifested hard for this person. All right, the High Priestess, this is what you need to know right now. Hmm. More is to be revealed, it would seem. Why is the High Priestess here for what you need to know right now? Light, light. That's a bit nicer, isn't it? <laughs> More is to be revealed here, but like, what about your intuition? What's your intuition telling you about this? Okay. Well, that's all over the place. Your intuition is telling you that can't get my words out I literally can't get my words out it's it's going around in here but my mouth's like <sighs> this has a future this is what your intuition is telling you it's a bit too dark now see that under it it's all right your intuition is screaming to you that this is your person this is your deep love your connection but you can't manifest it there's something out of harmony here between you but you know this is your person and you're manifesting hard you're manifesting too hard this is the problem this is how the law of attraction works my love so you put it out there and you say to the universe that's my person that's that's the one i want to be with that's my love i felt an energetic connection with that person that i've never felt with anybody else and to be loved by that person i would feel whole and complete and happy in this world so yeah you put that energy out there well kind of for starters what what's gone wrong there is that 
you kind of need to feel whole without somebody. You need to feel whole already to get the big love. You need to be okay without love. So there's that. But also, you're trying very hard. And the energy that you're putting out there is that I don't have you yet. This is not how you manifest my love. I want you. Wanting means you don't have it. So how, I mean, this is science here. How energy works is positive energy creates positive energy. Scientists, like top dudes say this, right? Like Einstein and shit. So positive energy creates positive energy. So if you're putting the energy out there that that's my person, that's the one I want. I'm going to leave them over there for a bit. I got stuff to get on with, but I'm working towards being where I need to be in my life so that, you know, it'll work with us. I'm going to, they're my person. It's not even I'm going to have them. It's not even that I want them anymore. They're my person. That's going to happen. It's going to happen at the right time when the universe thinks it's the right time. I'll be getting on with me. That's putting out the right energy. You're putting out that, that's my person. If you're going to watch paint dry, it's going to take forever, right? So if you're sitting there going, but they're not mine yet, but it hasn't happened yet, it's because you're not in a position in your life where you can be with that person for it to work. The universe wants to give you what you want, but, you know, you're not doing the work you need to do to get to the place you need to be in your life. Excuse me, I haven't eaten anything, so that's, <laughs> I don't know where that little hiccupy burp came from. I, I tend to get those when it's a fear in a reading. Fear and throat chakra closing up, not being able to commun communicate. Let me see there. You're afraid. You are afraid that uh, you're running out of time. That you won't get this person in this life. And there's a time limit for you, isn't there? Let me know in the comments below what the time limit is. Is it an age thing? Is it, um, is it, uh, body clock ticking thing? Is it, is it one of those? Which cards am I using for these ones? You're sort of thinking if you're a woman and, and you want to have kids, you're like, well, oh, before I'm 40 something, I, I want to, you know, be with this person so we can, you know, need some goalposts. So things like that. You're, you're afraid. What's to be revealed, though, is that this is your person, yes. But you have to do the healing to get your three of wands, which is that's your ships coming in. But you're out of whack with this person. It's not moving forwards in the near future. Why? I can see why, but I've got to get to that. Tell me more. That's a few cards away. Is there any other reason? Indecision. Mm -hmm. Then there's a lot of delays, confusion, indecision, and I'm, I'll just get to it. I'll just get to it. They they're not available right now. This is the outcome here. Is this person is unavailable? They're in a relationship or they're uh, in a job where they can't spend time doing anything other than working or they're you know live a thousand miles away from you there is this person is unavailable to you i think that they're in a relationship and you're sort of feeling like well why can't they leave that relationship if they're so damn unhappy and you know when we met sparks were flying there were laser be beams between our eyes if anyone walked between them they'd be chopped in half it was like electric Like fireworks. 
best you can hope for with this person at the moment as things stand is it's just unhappiness it's it's there's a lot of insecurity there's a lot of anxiety there's a lot of deception there's a lot of now, I feel like maybe you're kind of projecting a lot onto this person that they don't really have either. Like, maybe... Maybe they're not that great. Maybe you just want them to fit into what you want. I can see that you feel like and see that this is your person. You're manifesting hard, but I'm not seeing any twin flame stuff, I'm gonna be honest. Or soulmate. Tell me about the moon here. Why is the moon here? I sort of feel like this person kind of came into your life. They're they're not available. They're they there's something standing in the way, some body standing in the way. I sort of feel like they came into your life because they're bored and they're lonely. They're not available though and i sort of feel like it was a conquest to try and get your attention they got your attention and they walked away from it you were you were just an option like and, and what you need to accept is that you're just going to be an option to this person i don't see it moving forward any time soon i think that they feel something for you I think that they like your attention. Tell me more about that. They like having your attention. And they don't want to lose that. But they're not available. Yeah, the three of cups in reverse. They're not available. They they don't want you to go anywhere. They like having your attention. They like it where it is. They They like that. But there's somebody else. Or something else that's keeping them. Hold on. I'm going to take this into extent. I'm going to ask about this person for you. How do they feel about you really? Where are you in their heart space? What do they want to say to you? What are their intentions towards you? And some guidance from the universe. But let's pull some oracle cards for you. A win-win outcome is forecast. So, you know, you're going to get what makes you happy in the end, even if it isn't this person. Which I don't think it is. It doesn't look like it. Your song of the day is Whatever you do, I'll be two steps behind you Wherever you go, and I'll be there to remind you that it only takes a minute of your precious time to turn around. I'll be two steps behind. Two steps behind by Def Leppard. Okay. Yep, that's that. We're done for Oracle cards. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want to watch the extended. Take a look at the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon. You'll find the video there. Thank you. Goodbye.